It might be difficult to get into the inner circle of a Sigma male, but when you do, you realize that they make for an incredibly loyal and thoughtful friend. He is able to adapt so he can fit in with almost any group of people, but he's only interested in connecting with like-minded individuals who share his level of passion and authenticity, and who won't waste his time trying to influence his beliefs and ethics. Despite being difficult to read himself, the Sigma is extremely good at reading others, which is why it can be a longer, more complex process for him to allow new people into his very small inner circle. He prefers quality over quality, quantity, which explains why he only has a few people in his friendship group that he feels he can fully trust, and in turn, they know they can trust him with their confidential problems and secrets. As he can sniff out true authenticity from a mile away, it's rare that the Sigma will be surrounded by fake friends, but on the odd occasion, he may encounter sneaky individuals who manage to expertly manipulate their way to slipping through the Sigma's usually very tight net. This can make it hard for the Sigma to trust others, but he always tries to give them the benefit of the doubt before jumping to conclusions. In the rare case that the Sigma's close-knit circle is infiltrated by a fake friend, it doesn't take him very long to connect the dots. The gut instincts of the Sigma are pretty much always on point, and this means he can usually tell pretty quickly if someone is being genuinely sincere, and he has no patience for these imposters. So once he's caught a whiff of their insecurity, he won't want anything more to do with them, but not before exposing them for what they really are. And in today's video, we're going to discuss this further by talking about how Sigma males recognize recognize and expose these posers. If you've double-crossed a Sigma, you can count on that relationship as being totally over, regardless of whether it's a relative, business associate, friend, or a romantic partner. However, the mysterious Sigma is known for being a closed book in general, and this combined with his polite nature means he is easily able to hide his true feelings and contempt for disingenuity. The Sigma is a lone wolf, and that means he requires his alone time to de-stress and recharge. But if he finds himself getting a bit irritated and wanting to be left alone by someone who comes across as fake in some way, but that he knows means him no harm, then he struggles with being direct to the point where it may hurt their feelings, or is acting in a way that makes the person feel uncomfortable or embarrassed. Instead, he prefers to make the need for his alone time obvious by making it known in some way as he would much rather avoid the need for confrontation with a fake person than have to reprimand them for their dishonesty. When meeting new people, the Sigma is usually pretty quiet and will let the other person do all the talking while he actively listens and analyzes what they say and how they act. This may give the impression that he doesn't have much to say, or is cold, distant, or aloof, but that couldn't be further from the truth. He just needs to get a sense of who they are and whether he can trust them. If they don't meet his requirements, then he just wants them to leave him alone without the need for some kind of altercation, so he can recharge his batteries in peace. He will try to shake them off the scent by being minimally polite without giving much more. The Sigma is incredibly headstrong, so if he encounters someone fake or otherwise who tries to convince him to behave in a certain way, then there had better be high potential for personal benefit. This is because the Sigma doesn't conform to what society deems appropriate unless he agrees morally or will be positively affected by whatever the rule or behavior is. Just because society expects him to change his behavior doesn't mean he will. When it comes to discovering the true colors of a fake friend and realizing the core of their being is so far removed from his own, the Sigma finds no reason to be involved with them in any way. It could be a romantic betrayal or the discovery of a two-faced liar masquerading as a so-called friend. But whatever the situation, the Sigma won't want to continue having this person in his life anymore. While he sets very clear boundaries that he rarely strays from, he is also fair and understanding of other humans. He doesn't get hung up on the past or hold grudges. So if a fake friend who he cut out of his life in the past shows that they've changed their ways and have become sincere, honest and genuine, then the Sigma will often be more than happy to give them a second chance. 
It's kind of ironic, however, that the average person, in fact, finds it incredibly difficult to get close enough to a Sigma in the first place, because it's not easy to pull the wool over a Sigma's eyes when it comes to authenticity and trustworthiness. They would be better off befriending someone who places the number of friends they have as more important than the quality of the company they keep, as the Sigma doesn't want any part in someone's superficial life. This is one of the reasons he doesn't waste time on social media. Interestingly, there are people who the Sigma can identify as fake, who have no idea that they come across as insincere. They might be experts at fooling others and getting close to them by pretending to care about someone or something, but when they try this with a Sigma and he detects the dishonesty, it's very difficult for him to trust them again. He doesn't want liars, fakes or imposters as friends and he only likes to be friends with people he can share his intimate thoughts and feelings with. And if he can't trust you, then it's game over. The only way to win him over is with sincerity. This doesn't mean someone has to share their deepest, darkest secrets with him right away in order to gain his trust. It takes much more time than that anyway. But first and foremost, the Sigma only cares about seeing that they are not putting on an act. He knows that we are all human and we all make mistakes from time to time. He totally accepts this and will even give people several chances to prove their sincerity, so he can make a well thought out and considered decision as to whether he can trust them. Once it's obvious that any negative, insincere behavior is a habit and at the core of a person's being, then the Sigma is done with this individual. It's extremely difficult to fool the Sigma. He is very observant and this may make him seem a little judgmental at first, but this completely disappears once trust has been earned. Once you're in the Sigma's inner circle of close friends, you'll always know where you stand and know that everything the Sigma does comes from a place of genuine kindness and sincerity. The Sigma doesn't always want to be alone, despite his obvious independence and prioritization for alone time. He is dedicated to his loved ones and will always make time for his family and friends, especially the ones that have earned his trust and loyalty. Once you've shown the Sigma you are worth his time and that he can depend on you to be a good alliance, then he will have no problem in dropping what he's doing to help you out in a time of need. He is a man of principles, so if you can show him in some way that you have similar principles and you actually live by them without the risk of being swayed by what you believe in, then he will be impressed and open to friendship. Some people may find individuals who are intelligent and well-read and who know a lot a bit intimidating, but this doesn't always apply to Sigmas as they are known for their super friendly nature once you get past their quiet exterior and realize that he just prefers silence to superficial chit chat. Once you are his friend, the Sigma will be more than happy to share the wealth of information inside his head, as this is one of the reasons that people may try to fake their way into his inner circle, so they can take advantage of his intelligence. But for the Sigma, it can be quite easy to see the difference between people who genuinely want to befriend him and those who just want to use him to seek knowledge for personal gain. The Sigma can tell by the genuine effort made by the sincere person who actually appreciates him for who he is. For the Sigma, this is a two-way street, as there has to be an equal balance in the relationship or things won't work out. He doesn't appreciate if someone is always hanging around just to seek attention from him and doesn't give him anything in return. For the Sigma, he only enjoys the company of those who make the effort to know more about him and with whom he can connect with on a deeper level. So, in conclusion, the Sigma wants nothing to do with insincere individuals who try to manipulate and fake their way into being his friend. If they attempt this, his observant and analytical nature will discover the truth before long, and he will use his expert decision-making process to consider each individual situation fairly in order to decide how he proceeds. But make no mistake, if he can see without a shadow of a doubt that you are fake, he will drop you from his life without hesitation. Thanks for joining us. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and share the video so we can grow the channel further. And if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of our future uploads.